Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lee with Geek City USA here, and we're here with Larry Grayson with x -Tile Games, and we just got done playing some Urban Insanity. This is your game. It's currently on Kickstarter, and yep. it has a couple more days to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about the game, kind of uh, maybe how long you've been working on it? And sure. How the yeah. process has been? Yeah, sure. So we've been working on the game for about eight years now. And... Um, my partner Mike Mel and I, right? And uh, how it came about was we were sitting around a pool one day playing a different game and we were getting bored with it. And he said, hey, we can totally design a funner game than this. And that started the whole thing. So here we are eight years later. Excellent. And uh, you know, I've cut out about uh, 10 to 15,000 tiles by hand and uh, still have all my fingers. And uh, some strong muscles here. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Very careful cutting with an X-Acto knife. And we've been through 18 tile designs and uh, about 3,000 hours of play testing. And uh, we've come up with a game that's actually, it's a lot of fun. Everybody who plays it, they love playing it. And uh, anybody from kids all the way up to, we had one lady who was 84 years old at uh, Dragon Con is having a great time. Nice. She was dressed up as Spider Woman. It creeped me out a little bit. But, <laughs> well, that's, but, that's, gonna, that's a visual. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's a fun game. It's a fun game. Even the basic game is fun and then the add-ons make it completely insane. Yep. Now, how many add-ons do you have currently? We have six, and we're working on three more. Yeah, and each add-on adds a whole new flavor to the game. It just, it just completely alters the gaming experience of well, playing the game. And we played with aliens and, and mobsters. And mobsters, right. And uh, it was a, a complete crazy experience. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, aliens beaming down, beaming up, mobsters knocking you off the board, yeah. And yeah. I, I never once got to claim my key, uh, right. my key suburb that I was Yeah, you were like an alien magnet. I was. Yeah. I was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the aliens were very friendly with I you. I felt yeah. picked on and very probed. Yeah. <laughs> very probed. <laughs> so what are the other add-ons that you have? All right. So we have uh, the fire engine set, which gives you the ability to put things on fire and put the fires out, mm -hmm. right? Uh, then we have a gas and go set, which uh, gives you the ability to helicopter people into the middle of the city. Also, it also um, really brings building roads into the, into the game, and roads take on a whole new life, right? <laughs> um, and it also has gas stations that will refill your vehicles. Um, and then there's a, uh, there's a skyscraper set, which is completely insane. Um, <laughs> and with this one, you build city blocks at twice the speed, and you also have things like demolition, where you can actually take parts of the cities, tear it apart, and put it over on your own part, right? So you can, you can essentially destroy your neighbor's building that he's doing and put it over here use the materials to build your own city a um, little bit of take that there exactly <laughs> and then we have a we have a merchant set which uh, I assume is called the franchises set and it has a storekeeper in there who as he builds cities and builds like monopolies inside the city he can actually rival the mob boss he's the guy that can he can actually move in and, and muscle in and take over the city from the mob boss nice. yeah um, and you know the 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 the, the actual epitome of insanity is playing all six of them together. Yeah, we've, we've tried it several times. As a matter of fact, at Dragon Con, we played uh, one game with six people with all six expansion sets. Ooh. It was absolutely crazy. The game changed literally every five minutes. You didn't know what game you were playing. Oh, it was I crazy. Yep. I can imagine. Now, the base game supports up to four. Right. And then, uh, which expansion was it? It's the Gas and Go expansion set. It has two more colored, uh, has all the, the, the uh, playing pieces you need for two more. So we get up to six. Uh, we have a special on Kickstarter right now. If you order the, the full deal on Kickstarter, uh, we're gonna, we give you a set of gold and silver. So you actually have eight. Oh. Yeah, nice. yeah. Oh. Well, simulated gold and silver, right? Yeah, painted over wood. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> it's not real gold. <laughs> real no, 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 no. Maybe that could be a stretch goal. Yeah, exactly. Stretch goal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Way stretch. Yeah. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Now, uh, introduce us to uh, your. Yeah, this is Big Mo back here. Yeah, he's actually a blow up of one of the. Uh, the guy we call the big dudes. Yeah, so he's a blow up of this guy, which is the actual playing piece. And the artwork on here, um, all of our artwork was done by a guy named Will Black. And uh, this is actually one of the ultimate stretch goals is to have all the, uh, all the pieces actually painted. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this, is, this is actually what would the, the playing piece would look like if we hit the ultimate stretch goal. That's fantastic. Yeah, big, big Mo goes with us everywhere we go. So let's talk about the box and the way everything is contained here. Yeah, so uh, you get the, the main box comes with enough to play the basic game with four, with four people, right? And then uh, the box is actually designed with a magnetic hinge lid, uh, so it magnetizes. Um, 
And then it comes also with a tile tower. This thing assembles, snaps together. This holds all your tiles and is actually designed to lay down in the box and store all your tiles. And then all your pieces go in another compartment. The, all the pieces come with uh, color coordinated bags, little bags that the pieces go oh, in. Nice. And uh, this, this box is actually designed to hold all the expansion sets. So once you get to your expansion box and you load it in here, you can keep the box as a souvenir or throw it away or whatever you want. But this is all you got to carry around with you, just the one box. One of the things that people really like about the game is that the, the colors are real, the color on the, on the tiles is really easy to distinguish everything. So it's really, it's designed for playability. And it is, it is appealing, right? It pops. But uh, it's, it's really easy for people to pick up as far as there's not a lot of mechanics to the game. There's basically, you draw a card, you draw a tile, you play a tile, you put a guy in the tile, and you pass the turn. That's it, yeah. right? And then there's variations on that. We recommend this for ages 12 and up, just because there's a lot of reading to do on the cards. But we found that if you take the cards out and just go with the draw a tile, play a tile mechanic, young kids can play it too. Sure. Yeah, because oh, yeah. they get this, they get the spatial thing with the with the tiles real easy. Matter yeah. of fact, before we do, yeah, yeah, they'll point out to you. No, no, you can't play that tile there, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. see Mike is right away. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, I just uh, talked to a guy the other day. He's buying the game specifically because he has a five-year-old. He's trying to teach how to read, and he wants to use this game to teach him to read. Perfect. There was a lot of a lot of take that, and I was the victim of a lot of that take. Yeah, that. and you didn't win, did you? I, I didn't win. No. Yeah. Nope. I never win. I never win. This is a recurring theme on the channels. I don't win. Well, interestingly enough, I've been playing this game for eight years, and I don't hardly ever win either. <laughs> Which surprises me. Yeah. I thought for sure you were going to like smear us. Well, I've just spent all the time teaching people how to play it, and I normally like pointing out where they can play stuff. So right. by the time it comes around to me, there's nothing left to play. Right? Well, there were a few. Yeah, you, there were a few opportunities there where you're like, well, you know, you can play here, and you would take my guy, and then well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, great. I'm glad. I'm just steering her away from. From my guy, that's all right. Yeah, exactly. So, once again, Larry, thanks a lot for, yeah. for meeting I us up it. here. And we had a blast. And again, this is on Kickstarter for a few more days. So I would highly recommend, having played this, I would highly recommend jumping there and backing, picking up the expansions because they, they add a ton and it, it's been a riot. I also really want to thank Andy Deal with Kapow Games here in Cumming, Georgia. He's graciously opened his, uh, his store up to us to, to meet up here and to play here. And so if you're ever in the area, definitely come here and check it out. Again, Larry, thank you thank very you. much. I appreciate your time. I had fun too. Hey, thank Thanks. you. Me too. All Thanks. Right.